Welcome back to Dave's podcast. I recently posted a story on my website called The Boys of Summer, which you can find uh, at davehopwood.com on my Dave Hopwood blog. And I wrote this story about a group of uh, boys who go venturing off into the woods, very much like Stand By Me, if you've seen that movie. Or also there's a new film out called The Kings of Summer, which was very much in my mind when I wrote that story. But it perhaps could be read as a ghost story, but I prefer to think of it really more as a holy ghost story. Tom Shadiak, the director of Evan Almighty and Bruce Almighty, once said that coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. Ever since I've read that, that's stayed with me really. And um, I do like that. And I think that so many coincidences in all our lives could be moments, could be opportunities when actually God is getting involved, but on the quiet, if you like, in disguise, in the shadows, hanging back, but perhaps using other people. Or in this case, uh, I, I wanted to suggest the idea of sort of angelic help, um, someone intervening in a situation which at first seems to be a bit disastrous. It seems like the intervention of this person actually caused a problem which was potentially fatal almost. But in fact, that then led to, um, well, a good outcome if you read the parable. With that in mind, uh, if you think about the story of Joseph in the Bible, Joseph dreams of being a great leader and certainly has the gifting for it. He's also very precocious and kind of full of himself, really, and uh, quite naive and all that sort of thing early on. What happens is his brothers, partly because of this, are fed up of him talking about how he's going to be so great, and they want to get rid of him. And because they want to get rid of him, they sell him as a slave. And that seems disastrous. That seems to be a near-fatal outcome for Joseph. But years down the line, because he was sold as a slave, he then becomes the means to save them and rescue them. And I think the way God intervenes in our lives at times is through these strange happenings, strange coincidences, often, very often, through other people doing things um, which make a big difference for us. Another part of the story that I wrote, The Boys of Summer, is that the... This, the, the character, the girl in the story, who helps them out, she's involved with them in all kinds of things. She shows them uh, a new adventure that they hadn't known before and uh, encourages them to try that. And also, when they're trapped, she encourages them to not give up and to not stop trying to dig their way out. I remember a moment in the book touching the void which is the true story of joe simpson who was climbing and fell down a crevasse and broke his leg and then crawled his way back down the mountain and back home extraordinary story of survival and courage he talks about towards the end of his journey when all he wanted to do was fall asleep in the snow which would have meant he would have died there was this voice in his mind that just kept saying to him don't fall asleep don't fall asleep keep going don't fall asleep don't fall asleep and he didn't and he made it home and again kind of suggesting that within this story really that uh, sometimes God is present through his spirit through angels through other people just pushing us on to keep us going and not give up so I wanted to write that story to explore that a little bit. Hope you get a chance to read it. It's called The Boys of Summer. Thanks for listening to this podcast. Bye.